Hey everyone, I'm Victor Frost, and this, what time is it? Hey everyone, I'm Victor Frost, and this is Thing of the Day, where I bring you something cool or interesting every weekday. And I love robots, especially building them. And what's great about building robots, I mean, apart from the satisfaction of building something with your own two hands, is the fact that you are imbuing upon something a, a certain amount of intelligence, and to an extent, a degree of will. I mean, given the proper programming, a robot designed to make decisions based on stimuli input from its sensors has a degree of unpredictability because, well, to a degree, humans can't detect the variables in environments to a degree that a robot's precision sensors can. And it's that kind of unpredictability that gives us the impression that a robot has will. But that will is very limited and can be accounted for and even given a lot of safety buffers. But we haven't had to come into contact, for the most part, with a robot that could kill us or track us down. Robots employed in the military today have a certain amount of fear that comes with them. Remote controlled robots with guns built in, grenade launchers attached to them, can cause an extreme amount of damage, especially at the hands of a human controller. Some would tell you that robots are safe, and for most part, robots are safe. Robots that drive cars, like Google's car, are incredibly safe and incredibly skilled at what they do. But are we ready for robots that can kill us. Creating a robot with the capacity to kill requires a whole lot of trust and a lot of legal standing that doesn't really exist yet. If a robot shoots someone, whether it intended to or not, who's responsible? Especially if the robot is fully autonomous. Is it the owner of the robot? Is it the programmer that made the initial firmware for the robot, assuming it wasn't custom built? Is the manufacturer that manage the individual components? It's a tough question to answer, but it's something we're going to have to face as robots become more and more part of our daily lives. Roomba may be safe, but what about the robot that cares for our elderly? It's a tough question and one that bears answering, and quite frankly, a lot of this footage is not going to make it into the thing of the day video because, well, I've been rambling and going on too long and touching on too many topics that the article itself touches on and even that is completely irrelevant to the article. But it seems that I'm going to be throwing this footage away anyway, so me rambling like this is actually a good exercise in maintaining the, the tone of speech necessary to create an entertaining video. I'm probably going to upload this as a bit of a side crap clip. <laughs> and now I gotta start all over with the original take. So. This is what happens when there's not a script.